what's up? It's Ashley and Courtney is with me and today we are going to a psychic fair with my mom and it's the first time ever that like my mom and Courtney have both been here. Frick, I'm gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> I was like, can they hear you over the music? The music. Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashley. It's Courtney. And today we are going to a psychic fair. Um, Courtney came to Pittsburgh with my mom and this is the first time ever that they've like both been here at the same time. So I'm really excited and we're gonna go to the psychic fair and like see what's up. So hopefully it's good. Yeah, I'm like nervous. Because what if I get like a, a uh, what if I get red and it's really similar to like what the medium said like the video that I did with the meat talking about the medium mm -hmm. like it's similar to that or something yeah. I don't know I'm excited and I've never gotten red before so like yeah you don't say that like you don't say that oh <laughs> I thought you were taking a picture like you don't say that like if you're a medium like you don't say I don't know like <laughs> you say like explain Check out your energy field and tell you what colors are in your aura. Mm -hmm. But I can feel you block a little bit because you're empathic. So just mm -hmm. be okay. I'm gonna I might just come in there and you're gonna tell. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's see. Well, right at the top I'm seeing bright orange, which is like emotional stuff. I feel like you're a ball of emotions, but you hold it really tightly in. Yeah. Um, but I also see some like blue and indigo um, up at the top of your head, which tells me you're highly intuitive. You kind of know things before they're gonna happen, and you have like a sense of like, you get feelings, like feelings about stuff. Mm -hmm. You feel when something is right. You feel when something is off. You're a feeler. They wanna make and affect some change and do some things for people. You're here as like a helper, a healer, a caregiver, a caretaker. Um, film. Film. I don't know why I feel like more caretaking for you than anything. Yes, the film. Yes, the like imagination and the fun and the excitement and all that stuff. But there's some, you won't feel satisfied with, and you can do anything you want to do. Yeah. But you won't feel satisfied unless it's somehow transforming or affecting change. Yeah. Right? I kind of want to do that through film, I just don't know how. Right. Maybe like documentary kind of things? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, like, can you connect with the other side Yes. At all? Is there somebody who you want to connect in with? Yeah. If you, I don't know if you, like, would feel anyone or if I should give you... You could a... give me their relationship because we have only have 15 minutes. And it's interesting because he, he feels badly, but I also, like, for leaving and for, like, doing that and, and making that choice. But it's also the feeling of, like, he, he feels like you understand it to some degree, mm -hmm. you know? And, and I can feel like you don't, he's giving me this feeling of like, you're not really upset with him because I feel like you have some compassion for him. Yeah. Worried that you worried about him all the time. Mm -hmm. And he just wants you to not feel like 
worried for him anymore. You know, it's like I'm I'm okay now. I don't feel physical pain or anything like that. I'm here. <laughs> so, what do we think about our medium <laughs> psychic experience? <laughs> Anybody? I had a good reading. The first I, one was not good. I don't know what to say. I haven't got that far yet. <laughs> Paul, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> now we're going to Longhorn. <laughs> yes, and we're going to eat. Hey guys. What's up? <laughs> Forever 21 is doing 2 for 20, so hurry in. <laughs> We're at the mall today. Um, we go to the mall all the time when we're together. It's just fun, and my mom's here too, so we're just looking at the mall together. Oh my god! Nothing personal. Look how cute. That's so cute. It's nothing personal, Ash. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> so Courtney's leaving once again. Another sad day on the list. <laughs> Um, sorry this week was wild, sorry my post was late, just a lot going on, so, at least something's up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, love you guys, bye! Hey guys, um, I just wanted to give, like, a quick little final thoughts on, um, the video, because I know it kind of ended abruptly and I didn't really tell you guys what I thought about it or if I believed in it or anything, um, <clears throat> but... Do I think mediums and psychics are real? I do. But at the place that I went, they may have been real and maybe they just couldn't connect with me or whatever, but I just didn't get what I wanted out of it. And my mom said maybe I was expecting too much. Um, but for me, I really went there for like the medium portion of it because like I wanted to be able to like hear from my dad in a sense. Um, and I went to three different medium psychics and none of them knew who I lost. I either had to tell them or they asked. Um, and for me, I believe if you're like a strong medium, you should kind of get a sense that I lost my dad. And um, when I did tell them that I lost my dad, they did say things that related, but nothing that was specific enough for me. Like the one lady said like, oh, like he liked cars, and yeah, he did like cars, but that was just like way too general um, for me, and I don't know, like it just wasn't what I needed. I guess I'm still like skeptical about it, um, just because I guess I didn't get the experience that I expected, and then as far as the psychic part goes, I don't think any of them really told me too much about my future, but they more told me about the kind of person that I am, which I thought they were good at that. Like, one girl read energies, and I believe they all felt my energy, and the things that they said about me were true. Like, um, I'll play a quick clip of, like, I, I'll play clips throughout so you can hear them, but the one girl who, like, talked about my, um, energy and like what she saw around me like I totally believe that because I think that's like me as a person and when Perry listened to the recordings like he agreed with like what she said about me as a person but like when it came to my dad and everything like Perry didn't believe that stuff because I let him listen to it but um yeah it was still a good experience I still had fun with my mom and Courtney and they enjoyed it too so I still liked it and everything um but I still want to go to something different and try again um, and see if I get something different out of it. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Comment and tell me what you guys think of all this. Um, yeah, and I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one and give us a subscribe and we'll catch you later. Bye.